Hello. Hello. Happy day after Thanksgiving. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. We had a good one. We've been doing a lot in and out of the yurt. Mm -hmm. So wanted to show you inside. We've done some rearranging. So we had, we had the dining room table right in the middle, but we've rearranged where the computer desk had been. We pushed our table against that window. So when we're eating, we can see out. We've opened up space in the middle. Mm -hmm. We got this nice comfy couch and we, we uh, refinished the desk and then put it back there. When we were tinkering with ideas with how to organize the living room, that area kind of angled back in there. We never liked it as a spot to stick a chair or stick a couch because it felt really kind of tucked Cut too far away. From everything else. Um, but it's working really well as a little workstation for a computer desk. So we're really happy about that. Our mantle is completely done for our stove. Yes, I'll still make a video for that eventually. And <laughs> we've got uh, we've got a few more things we need to do. We ordered um, a wood storage rack that shipping got delayed and it's just taken forever, <laughs> but it's on the way. It was supposed to come November 1st and November's yeah. almost done. Yep, um, but we're really excited with how the space is coming together. Tina put up some curtains and that's the state of the yurt inside and things that have been going on outside. The big one is the, the gravel access road is done. We got more loads of gravel. I finished up the tractor work and it's, it's turned out really well. So mm -hmm. we can show you some of that. And the goats have just annihilated everything in the, the paddock they've been in and we're going to move them right after this. So they are hungry. <laughs> they're hungry and whiny and so we'll show you out there. It's unrecognizable. They, they have done a great job. Um, there's definitely a big job for mowing or weed whacking or something to kind of tidy it up. There's just so many downed branches because the way it turned out is a, a lot of the blackberries are climbed up and over old downed trees, old downed branches, stuff like that. So as we've worked our way down into it, there's just a lot of debris that we've got to clean up somehow. Mm -hmm. But really excited with how they've done. And so we're gonna move them over and rinse and repeat. Yeah. Oh, and we got a few more goats. Um, we wanted to get a male goat so that we could breed our four girls that we got. And then right around the same time, a neighbor needed to give away a couple of goats. Same day. And we said yes. So in one day, we went from six goats to nine goats. And they're going pretty, pretty, it's going pretty well. So we'll see. Yeah. Um, the downside to getting more goats is we have to move them more often because they eat everything in the paddock faster. So we'll see. But is, we're having fun. Yeah. The goats are happy down there. They're hungry right now, but they'll be happy to move. And so, okay, here's a look inside their paddock that we're about to move them out of. You can see all that brush with the leaves completely off of it. You know, that was just a wall of blackberries all the way to the fence and they are gone. So we're really excited about that. The goats are really whiny and following me because they're hungry. But it's just amazing the work they did. We're so happy with it. And now, it's just going to be a big cleanup project of, well, I should do a cleanup project of tidying this all up. If we didn't, then I think the blackberries are just going to climb over that stuff again next year. So while everything is fought back, it's really easy to work in here with a chainsaw, drag logs around. I'll do that. Make some piles. Maybe even pick a few of these trees to cut down while I, like this dead one right here, may as well knock it down. So. That's what it looks like. And we're going to move them west. That direction, we're going to leave the little dog fence or the dog shelter where it is. That'll be a tiny bit of overlap from the last spot. And then, and then push them that way along the creek still. And we'll do that one or two more times. And then we'll have to do a pretty big move up above the pond but we'll talk about that another time because that's going to be a, a multi-month project up there above the pond clearing that area out all right here we go
We did it! Yay! Best goat move yet. I think. <laughs> we made a nice big square near the yurt. The creek flows that way, so the south boundary of the paddock is the creek again. And the goats have been in their shelter, and let's go let them out. They'll be happy goats. Okay, now all we have to do is turn on the fence again. Yep. But the dogs look really happy. They're happy to be up on this upper bench where the yurt is. They'll be able to see more. I think they're excited to be up here. And they found a rawhide Olaf had buried. <laughs> and I think Olaf's feeling pretty silly <laughs> that he forgot where that thing is and now he lost out. Are you sad that you lost <laughs> your rawhide? <laughs> Poor guy. I always love the little bit after we let the goats and the dogs out and just watching them it's so fun for like the first 10 minutes you just see what they do and they're you can all tell happy they're happy and, it's yeah. like if they maw that's probably because they're ha so happy yeah like they don't maw for food at all they yeah. are busy eating now okay so we'll show a bunch of clips of other stuff we've been up to for the last week or so mm -hmm. and then we'll see you next time bye <laughs> bye <laughs> bye james Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to tell him your joke? He made up a joke. What, did the, dog, what did the dogs find? A rawhide. Why do they call it that? Because the dogs ha hide the rawhide. God, <laughs> one, oh yeah, oh yeah, do a dance. <laughs> nice. Cat.